Uh, it is great to see you on Houston Life, on chatting with you during the break. And this is really remarkable. So Daniel was nonverbal until he was four years old. You witnessed him watching this video of uh, Old Town Road, and something miraculous happened. He had not been able to tell me he loved me. Couldn't understand when I told him I loved him. At one point, he fell and broke his arm and couldn't even tell us where he hurt. Um, his speech therapy evaluation said he had no functional language. And at four and a half years old, the summer of 2019, where Old Town Road was as hot as fish grease on Good Friday, he walked up to me and started playing with the buttons on my duster. That's what he's doing. He's opening and closing the buttons on my duster. And he just started humming Old Town Road. And I was crying. I wet his hair. I had snot and every body fluid I had came crashing down on my child because that's the moment I realized that the way we reach him and teach him is through music. And for the past two years, guys, we have been using music in his therapy, his educational settings, everything that this kid does, we use music. And just two years later, after having no functional language, Daniel is reading on a fourth grade level. His cognitive functions are that of a seven-year-old kid, and he's only six. We would have never tried music. That, that wasn't even an option for us. But here we got this little urban cowboy who loves country and western and that's all we got to do is, is put on a country song and and you can teach this kid anything and he'll pick it up it is really incredible we have said this on this show multiple times the power that music has and to really see what this has done to daniel is really incredible a little bit more uh Shaletta, about your story it's not just daniel i mean you have other children your son brandon who's eight your daughter cameron they both have been diagnosed with the, on the aut autism spectrum disorder as well so not only do you have one child but you have three children on on the same spectrum yeah, and you know, the reason they call it a spectrum is because each child is different. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got my 14 year old son, Andrew, who's a teenager, which might be more difficult than having <laughs> autism, but Brandon has a little social anxiety. Cameron uh, was very shy and reserved, and, and Daniel is my most severely, or was my most severely autistic child. But with good help and therapy and, and a lot of prayer and a lot of pushing and perseverance, Brandon and Cameron are testing off the spectrum and Daniel is not far behind. So we always share our family stories so that other parents who have kids with special needs know that things can and will get better. We just don't want people to lose hope. You know, I, I teach my kids at home after school and when the pandemic hit, we turned our house into a classroom and, you know, I just did what I could for my kids like most parents do, Courtney, right? right? Yeah. Uh, we just hunker down and, and do what we got to do. And, 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 you know, my kids have responded so well, they didn't lose any any of their progress uh, during COVID when, when schools were closed and, and when they took their annual autism evaluations, they actually made progress, you know, and, and it's not just about school and learning. We have fun. We go out back and play. We try to keep them active. Whatever we got to do to keep these kids learning and moving and motivated, that's what we do. Shaletta, it really is incredible how you have found that music or music therapy is sort of cracking the code to help your children learn. And you, you said something just now uh, that I think is really powerful. A lot of parents out there are feeling sort of powerless and hopeless. So what is your message to, to people out there, not just parents, but grandparents, caretakers, who feel like they've hit a dead end, like they don't know where to turn? Keep pressing. Keep trying. Uh, use my family story to know that things can and will get better. Um, they were just about to tell me that they were going to have to teach Daniel uh, sign language. He's four and a half and he hasn't spoken or understands simple commands. Uh, and, and I said, no, we're going to keep trying. We're going to do whatever we can. And, and I prayed. And, and this boy, when his book came out for Autism Awareness Month this year, guys, he read his own book. We had a book reading at our house. And Daniel, in the driveway at our home, read his own book. I never thought that was possible. But you got to have faith in, and you can't lose hope. And I want people to see our family story, pick up Daniel's book, and know that, you know, it's not just unique to us. It's not just us. You know, things can and will get better, not just 
for us, but for your kids too. Absolutely. There's always a light shining. Some days it's just a little bit dimmer or brighter. The next day, we have about 30 seconds left. We want to tell everybody about the book that you just mentioned. Okay, Daniel Finds His Voice is available everywhere books are sold. It actually, would you guys believe this, sold out three times already. Yay! It's already a bestseller, and it hasn't been available since, it, it just came out April 1st. So I'm so blessed and so glad that so many parents and grandparents and caretakers and educators and therapists and music therapists have fallen in love with this book and my son's story and are offering it to parents who need it most. It is fantastic, Shaletta. And Cameron Goes to School, by the way, your previous book, also worth a read, yes. story based on your daughter. Shaletta Brundage, thank you so much for your time and for sharing your family's incredibly powerful story. Thank you for having me, and thank you for giving me an opportunity to shine a light on this. This show is amazing. The work that you're doing is amazing, and inspiring other parents is so important. So I appreciate you giving me this time. You are so welcome. Thanks, Shaletta. And by the way, to connect with Shaletta, you can search the link on the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. Okay, let's shift gears now. Earlier, we mentioned the mocktail throwdown happening next week in Woodland Heights at Active Passion. Let's check back in with Joe to see what they are mixing up. Joe, how's it going?